Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm here in my studio with Lorena Danielle and we're making some portraits today. Actually, I wanted to test out this new uh, Kipon tilt shift adapter that I picked up. It's uh, from Nikon camera to Hasselblad uh, 500 series. So I've got a bunch of media for my cam of camera lenses laying around that I've had for years. And it's great to put them in, into use with uh, various cameras. There's, uh, the idea of using lens adapters is not uncommon now. People are putting, you know, Nikon lenses on Sony's and Canon's on whatever. You, you can basically uh, adapt so many different lenses to so many cameras and having these lens adapters available is super useful. But what I find is great about this is adding that tilt shift ability. Either because you're trying to do a special effect, which is kind of what I'm doing here, just kind of knocking things out of focus in a really funky way, or actually to do it in more of a traditional way with the tilt shift to fix things, let's say for like food or product photography where you want to uh, get your everything in focus. Um, so all I'm doing today is I've really got this push to its extreme. I've got my Hasselblad 100 millimeter lens on here and uh, I've got my, you know, I'm on my Nikon and I basically just pushed it as far as I can. You can see it almost looks like it's broken because the lens is tipped down like this. And what that's going to do is when I focus on my subject, right, the, the plane of focus is flat. But if the lens itself is bent, what it will actually do is throw off what's in focus and it'll dramatically knock things out of focus. So as opposed to let's say using a lens as a shallow depth of field, like a 1.2 lens or something that will knock everything, let's say from the eyes and then all goes out of focus in the back. This is more like part of the body that would be normally on the same plane of focus will be out of focus. So it can be kind of fun for some effects. Other uses of this, people love to use this for, for video, especially for time lapses, uh, to make what they call a miniature effect, where it essentially, your eye assumes that things far away are gonna be in focus. It's just the way that your brain works. When you're looking at a landscape, everything's in focus. So if I'm standing on top of a building, I expect to be able to look down and see all the cars and the people and everything in focus, right? Um, by using a tilt shift, I can actually throw it so that part of the plane of focus is, is out, and it gives the illusion to the eye that you're looking at something that's really small and you're close to it, and that's the reason why you have this shallow focus. So it's kind of a cool trick. Okay, so I'm out here on my balcony and I've got my Nikon uh, D5 set up here with the, the Kipon adapter. I'm, I'm using a Hasselblad lens, 50 millimeters. You know, I had a couple of lenses I looked. This one seemed like it gave me the best point of view. Um, I'm using this Manfrotto tripod, as you can see, and it's got this extended arm built in and basically balancing the camera out over the edge so that I can get the shot I want. If you see the building on this side, because there's a balcony below me, it just it didn't give the same effect. Uh, obviously, here I am on the outside of a building, I want to be very careful, so I've got a, my tripod here, like I said, with a sandbag on it. And I'm gonna stand here, even though it's raining, it's only gonna be a short time lapse, just to make sure I don't lose my camera over the edge. So lens adapters are a great way to kind of change things up a bit. Whether you're pulling an old lens that you have from a camera system you, you no longer use, or a cheap lens you found on eBay, or in a used department of a store like Adorama, or throwing a tilt shift adapter on it and really changing the style and quality of how that lens records. I want to thank Kipon for dropping off this adapter. I'm going to play with it a little bit more. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time.